Hey guys, Gary Rose, because I've already something to do with you today. Today, I'm going to be starting off the How Good Really Is series. And we're going to be starting with the Vespa. So, I think I just need to clarify how this series is actually going to work. I'm going to give, like, go over everything I think about every certain weapon and then extend it to certain maps and perks and things like that. But we're just going to start it off with a few weapons. So, I came up with six different categories that make a weapon, like, really good. First of which is damage, so how effective it actually is at killing a zombie. Second is ammo, so if you're gonna just buy ammo for it, you don't want it to run out instantly. How long are you gonna have to like go and grab more ammo if you're gonna keep blasting? Points, it's, that's just self explanatory. You're gonna need a gun to give you points if you wanna use it early on. Availability, that's like, is a box on the wall? Has it got good wall spots? Is it only on a certain map? Is it like a wall buy? Anything like that? Or can you only get it from the box? Pack punch, pack punch is like. How much of a difference does a pack punch actually make to the gun? Like, if you're going to spend 5,000 points, is it really worth it? And the final one is just straight up fun. Just how fun is the gun to use? That's that like kind of little bonus added section for the gun to redeem itself, even if it's really bad. So, the first gun we're doing is the Vespa. And now we're going to start off damage. This thing's damage is not great at all. Like, it's got a fair amount but it's not amazing it'll do you in the early rounds it's not terrible but it's pretty average so i'd give that a uh, five out of ten it's ammo this thing burns through ammo like nothing so like because of how good its fire rate is and how fast its fire rate is um i'd give it a two very bad also i'd just like to go over like the boundaries that i put for these things one is just unusable two is very bad three to four is bad five to six average seven to eight is good nine is very good and ten is just on another level i'll do one of these for each of the six sections and then one just overall what i think of the gun so then we come on to points now this thing if you want to use a gun to get points this is just amazing for points like because of the like low damage and super fast fire rate the amount of points you're going to get with this thing is absolutely just stupid so points i wouldn't say it's on another level i'd say it's pushing very nine nine very good it's very good for getting points pack punch now i didn't think the pack punch made much of a difference to this gun when i first used it but it does it actually makes quite a big it doesn't turn it into some kind of like soup weapon but it makes probably quite a decent change not change quite a decent upgrade to this so overall for pack punch i'd give it a seven not amazing not terrible it's just good now for fun this is like the kind of section i was debating whether to actually like include or not but i am definitely going to include it so for fun fun overall i would give it a I did put it on the top five funnest guns to use, but it wasn't high up on the funnest guns to use, so it's pushing very good, it might just stay in good, so I will give it a 8. I'm not sure. I did actually forget availability, and for this gun, uh, there is plenty of wall buys around for it. I don't know if you can get it in the box, actually. I think it's available in the box but I'm not 100% sure but it doesn't matter anyway if you're getting this gun you're mainly going for a wall buy and wall buys are in a lot of locations so I'd give it probably a there's lots of them but they're not always in the best position so just a 7 out of 10 for that so overall that actually gets you 38 out of 60 which if you divide that by 6 that gives you just over 6 well it's round about 6 out of 10 overall rating for the Vespa which means it is a pretty average gun, which is to my surprise, I thought it would end up as a good gun. But with them ratings that I've given it, it does actually end up just as simply an average gun. It doesn't even get into the good category, believe it or not. Well, that's according to my ratings anyway. So it's down to what you really think of it. It's in the top end of average, it's pushing on good. But it's overall, it's a pretty decent gun. It's not the best gun ever just a pretty nice gun to have in the starting rounds really fast fire rate kind of low damage but it's amazing for building points and i think the ammo and the damage just let it down if it had a higher ammo count 
or just a slightly slower fire rate so it didn't go through as much ammo then that's when that rating will be up to about eight and up good pushing very good it's just it's ammo that lets this gun down so anyway guys in the comments below let me know what you actually think of this series if you've got any suggestions for which gun I should do next, I've got an idea of what I'm going to do next in my head. But if you guys want me to do something different, I can always do that. This is going to be out every single Tuesday from now on. And then every sometimes on Saturdays as well, depending on whether Top 5 is coming out or not. But that's not a guarantee, but I can guarantee it's every single Tuesday from now on. So if you like this video and want to see more how good really is it, how good really is it, how good really is it. That's the next series, Dave. How good really is this? Leave a like. If you're here, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.